This video shows the most important benefits users of Omicron's transformer diagnostic system experience. It explains advantages of features designed for accurate and user-friendly transformer diagnosis. The Omicron CPC100 and CPTD1 is a system providing an extensive range of transformer testing. It contains a power amplifier, which can output test signals in a frequency range of 15 to 400 Hz. Testing problems resulting from electrical interference at mains frequency are no longer a problem, since the operating frequency is adjustable from 15 to 400 Hz, thus allowing interference from mains frequency to be filtered out. This enables automatic test procedures to be carried out over a range of frequencies as well as at different voltages. The TD1 provides levels of accuracy previously only available in the laboratory. Test reports are generated very easily, and the results can be exported to applications such as Microsoft Excel. There are three basic test methods, UST, GST, and GSTG. UST is used when the object under test is not grounded, GST is used when the test object is permanently grounded, and GSTG denotes a grounded test with guard. The Omicron system offers all three operational modes. The measurement inputs A and B and an internal switching matrix enable the following measurements to be made without reconnecting the test leads. USTA, USTB, USTA plus B, GST, GSTGA, GSTGB, and GSTGA plus B. Let's look at a typical example. We will measure all relevant capacitances of the high voltage winding of a three winding transformer. This is the wiring we need. We start with USTA. It delivers the capacitance between high voltage and low voltage winding CHL. Without rewiring, we switch to USTB to measure CHT. Now GSTGA plus B to measure CHG, the capacitance between the high voltage winding and the tank. Again, no rewiring of test leads is required. Finally, we can use GST to measure the sum of the capacitances to check if all measurements were in order. The help function shows the connection of each of the single operational modes. The measurement result can be displayed in different ways, with capacitance and dissipation factor tangent delta, as capacitance and power factor cosine phi, as real power and cosine phi, as reactive power and cosine phi, as complex impedance, as CP and RP, or as LS and RS. Measurement bandwidths from 5 Hz up to 20 Hz are possible, allowing for better filtering of interference and faster measurements. For the assessment of a measurement, limiting values are available for the changes in capacitance and for the power factor or the dissipation factor. The limiting values are based on reference values from the manufacturer which denote a device in new condition. If one of these limiting values is exceeded, the measurement is assessed as not OK. If a very accurate reference capacitor is available, it can be used to calibrate the unit. Normally, the dissipation factor or the power factor is displayed at a reference temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Since it is not always possible to measure at this temperature, correction factors for different types of insulation are stored in the unit. If the oil temperature and the ambient temperature are entered, the unit automatically determines the suitable correction factor. Different insulating material can be selected, 
including resin impregnated paper, resin bonded paper, or oil impregnated paper. As standard, the input is limited to a maximum of 5 amps. For higher currents, an external current transformer can be used, which is compensated for in the internal measurement.